Additive will teach you patience. Additive will teach you persistence. Additive will keep you on your toes 24 seven. Make sure you have a lot of liquor in the facility. A lot of liquor. I am Pamela Zamara, the owner of Pampton 3D Commercial Printing. Our printers are in the basement of our home. It's an advantage and a disadvantage, but there are more pros than cons. Being able to change filament at two in the morning, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, we lose no time. It's also a disadvantage, it's always there. And that's when you have to just walk away, turn it off for a day and get away from it. If anybody wanted to bring a Gigabot into their home, I would have some recommendations for them. Try it. If it doesn't work out, you can always move it to another facility, but it's something to consider. Most people think, no, we can't do that. Yes, you can, just try it. It's, it's not the end of the world if it fails, you just try something else. Additive is not plug and play. These are not plug and play instruments. They're not plug and play toys. They are demanding, time consuming, but also very rewarding. But if you're not willing to invest the time and the money into this, it will not succeed. The reminders on the side of the Gigabots started when we got our first printer. When each printer would come in, I would always put a quote or a reminder on it. Change this weekly, do this daily, because it's easy to forget. It's nice to have a little bit of a checklist to rule out the obvious. Your hot end might need to be replaced. The filament could be old. It could have too much humidity in it. But the most important reminder is be patient because it can get very, very frustrating when things are not working well and that deadline is creeping up. You have to be willing to just laugh about it, throw the part away, and start over again. Sometimes you only have to start over one time. Sometimes you have to start over 20 times. Sometimes the best thing to do is to shut the lights off, turn the printer off, crack open a beer, and call it a day. And there are days it's just amazing and everything's clicking and humming and everything's just incredible. But patience is by far the most important thing you need to have. Filament will make or break you. If you try to use a filament that is not as expensive as another filament, it will catch up with you in the end. When you put a good filament in, that makes a world of difference. And that's why we've been working closely with John at Village Plastics. John knows his filament. Unbelievable. Our prints look like spun silk when we get finished with them. That's a great starting point to have good equipment and good filament. RE3D is constantly improving and making you stay on top of the game with the changes that they do with their large FDM printers. It forces you to step outside of the norm and I think that was RE3D's original intent from the very beginning. The Gigabots came with the large build trays to step outside of the norm. They are constantly forcing you to learn something new. Oh, the printers will teach you lessons every day. You have to be teachable. Once you realize that, the sky's the limit. But if you always feel that you know it all, you'll never grow, you'll never advance. It is challenging keeping up with how everything is changing on a daily basis, but yet at the same time, everyone's been so helpful. It's an incredible community to work with. Technology is changing daily with different extruders, using recycled plastics. It's amazing what's gonna be available next year or even six months from now.